At the Shlyapnikov home, Babushka rouses seven-year-old Siroja. Today, he begins first grade. New York, September 5th. With his years at daycare, Benjamin Golston was used to early mornings. But today was different. His family helped him prepare for his first day of kindergarten. Come on. You have to eat your muffin so we can get dressed and get ready to go. Okay? Get ready to go where? School, Jack. What do you mean where? It's Wednesday. You gotta go to school. Benji liked the idea of riding the big school bus, but school itself, well, that was an unknown. Like many children, he experienced a mix of anticipation and anxiety. My bus number. April 6th, school opens in Japan. Chizuka Nakayama begins first grade. The Japanese seek order and continuity in all of life. Chizuka, like many of her peers, had been to preschool. The transition would be easy. <laughs> the day begins with osekihan, a ceremonial breakfast. Fish, rice, beans, eaten on happy, important occasions. An auspicious start to an auspicious day. <laughs> Nadia Shlyapnikov is a librarian. Like most Russian mothers, she works. One reason the starting age for first grade was dropped from seven to six. Japanese parents have high expectations. High school and university are discussed even with children of Chizuka's age. But this sense of future is enhanced by an appreciation of the past. Mrs. Nakayama chooses a traditional kimono for this day. A kimono requires time and attention. This says much about a mother's commitment to her daughter and her school. Shizuka understands her obligations. She can already read. In understanding Japanese educational success, the kimono and all it represents may be as telling as analyses of textbooks and curriculum. School would bring rules and judgment. Sarosha was concerned. Mm -hmm. 
объяснять все, чтобы пришли а учиться в школу. The first day of school is a major social transition for most children. In countries like the Soviet Union and Japan, the importance of this is recognized. Family, school, and community mark the event. And the day is full of ritual. In America, the first day of school is more a personal rather than organized national event, perhaps reflecting this society's emphasis on the individual. Families like the Goldstons can choose to mark the occasion in their own way. I came to see Benjamin go to school. He's my first grandson. <laughs> this is our, old, our first nephew, and he's going to school today. And we would like to see him all for his first day. <laughs> that means hello. That means hello. Jump. For Chizuka, things started on the right track. A new school would be easier to get used to with old friends around. Inside, senior students helped the newcomers. This was their assignment, part of their moral education, a compulsory subject in the Japanese curriculum. special hats were passed out. The first graders must wear the yellow hats to and from school, a sign to all that these children might need special help. These children come from a tradition of politics and poetry. Their society sent the first man and woman to space. Now there is change and uncertainty, and education, like everything else, is being reformed. Yet the first day of school remains a time to honor students and teachers, to say to them, your work is important, we value your efforts. <laughs> Each class lines up, flanked by its teacher and young pioneer leader.
On the same day, in schoolyards throughout the nation, there are similar scenes. The national anthem, officials, and old words from new faces. Then the principal's greeting. Дорогие учителя, уважаемые родители и гости, все те, кто пришел сегодня поздравить наших ребят с началом нового учебного года. В 63-й раз сегодня прозвучит школьный звонок в нашей школе, который поведет вас на первый свой урок. Право первого звонка предоставляется ученице первого класса и одиннадцатого. This is a nation in transition. One year, there were no history books nor exams, the past difficult to explain. But every culture has enduring beliefs and values. Rituals give voice to these, schools transmit them. So, as their parents once did, they come bearing flowers, a greeting for their new teachers. Japan is a meritocracy. Social class matters less than educational achievement. But this nation firmly believes that all children can be motivated to learn and expects the most from every pupil. The Japanese believe a student who flunks is the sign of a teacher who failed. The initiation is gentle, parents are there. It's the beginning of an ongoing involvement. Research says this home-school interaction is a critical factor in Japan's educational success. Familiar songs performed by older schoolmates. A dual benefit. Both entertainers and those entertained feel important. And finally, children, teachers, and parents gather together for the inevitable picture, a portrait of the child's second family. Oh, it's really going to be fun. Don't be nervous. You were so excited. Benji Golston 